Hello and welcome to this 10 minute case study where I'll show you how Dr. Andrew Martinez, a courageous, ambitious and heart centered pediatrician, grew beyond career fulfillment and integrated her personal dreams with her work life. So today let's learn together a few applicable principles that can also make a significant difference in your own ability to create a more fulfilling integration between your career and your personal life, including finding your ideal life partner, a best friend and a committed soulmate who knows you, understands you, and wants what is best for you. A driven, confident, and compassionate man who loves you with his actions and not just words. So please relax and take some notes. When Andrea first reached out to me, she was feeling burnt out, disillusioned, and also a bit confused. You see, she'd always been the friend that others first reached out to for advice. The daughter who volunteered to help her parents out anytime they needed something. The hardworking doctor who gave her all to the children she served through her practice. But despite graduating top of her class, having two thriving offices and good friends who admired her, she felt something was missing. Somehow, she'd bought into this idea this train, if you will, that if she went all in on the career she wanted, she'd find her full happiness. And it wasn't that she didn't feel grateful for the life she'd created. She just knew there was a deep part of her that she wasn't expressing. In other words, she took care of everyone around her, but no one was taking care of her. She wasn't feeling seen, met, felt, held, kissed, or loved intimately. And this made most of her outward achievements lose a lot of spark. But before I go on, let me first take a brief moment to introduce myself and answer two questions you might be rightfully asking. Question number one, is there a catch? And question number two, who is this guy and why should I listen to him? So first, there is no catch. There's nothing to sell in this presentation. If at the end you're interested in exploring, if I might be able to help you, I'll share a link where you can reach out to apply and set up time to talk. Now, as to why you should listen to me, here's a bit of background as to why you might want to hear what I have to say. My name is Bern Mendez, and for the last 10 years, I've personally helped and coached hundreds of single women from around the world, from virtually every continent, age group, and every kind of love challenge you can imagine, to find their ideal soulmate. Also, over 17 million women, and counting, have chosen to learn strategies about how to build their own love life through my YouTube channel and thousands of them have reached out and sought my help. No, I am not saying this is magic. I don't believe in secret formulas. My clients have achieved far more predictable love, transforma love transformations in their lives than the average woman without resorting to gimmicks, manipulation, texting techniques, or one-dimensional advice. Why? How is this possible? Well, attracting your ideal life partner and creating a successful relationship are skills that can be learned, and when you understand the principles that create attraction and ethically sustain intimacy, you can avoid unnecessary trial and error, drastically mitigate heartbreak, avoid wasting valuable time with unavailable men, and stop relying on the next best dating app to find love. In short, there's no point in attempting to rediscover fire. Life is way too short to make it harder than it needs to be. And please don't get, don't get me wrong, although I've developed a unique set of skills and systems that can eliminate years of your process of finding a lasting life partnership, this process requires work. My clients are successful and high achieving women of integrity who've realized that the time, discipline, courage and effort to attract their ideal, underlining ideal soulmates requires the same level of commitment as outstanding career success. While there's no quick fix solution, committing to winning powerfully can eliminate years of pain, frustration, and a sense of failure, just like Dr. Andrea. After our initial conversation, she decided we should work together to help her figure out exactly what she needed to change to attract and sustain the kind of conscious relationship that had eluded her for so many years. We found out three significant blind spots in her approach that we could correct to have her experience the relationship she was after. And the thing with blind spot is that they are different for everyone. If you're not finding the relationship you want, please underline this, despite putting some serious effort into it, you're probably unconsciously choosing to hold on to one or more of them. The first blind spot we identified was that her burnout was making it nearly impossible to express and exude the kind of aliveness, magnetism, and radiance that would make her a clear, unequivocal choice to the right man. So I showed her how to create more natural demand for her presence without faking happiness or becoming someone she's not. 
See, in my professional observation, many ambitious women are unaware of how unapproachable or distant they feel to men. Hence the not-so-subtle and not-so-subliminal uh, glacier image behind this slide. And guys who aren't players or sociopaths need an opening, something that hits them in the chest, in the gut, to make their move. A metaphorical dropping of the handkerchief from you, if you will. The second blind spot I helped her identify was that she trained herself well to go after what she wanted, but the kind of energy required to advance her career is much more directive, driven, and push-based. Let's call it, for simplicity's sake, masculine energy. And although that kind of energy gets you to launch a successful business or create a thriving client practice and you absolutely need it in your life, it is not what allows you to be the most magnetic woman to driven and masculine men. In other words, a guy wants to feel you in his heart, not his head. And when your mix of masculine versus feminine is out of balance, it makes it exponentially harder to attract the kind of guy you want and more natural to attract a weak man who lacks a sense of purpose and is looking for a mommy or a savior. And to be clear, feminine energy isn't about being weak or faking ignorance. It is a powerful life force inside of you that allows you to connect with an open heart, vulnerability, and feel life and people more profoundly, which in turn allows you to catch the right attention from the right guy and hold his interest. So why does it work this way? Because when a guy feels a strong emotional connection with you, he's self-motivated and inspired to take action without any pushing, arm twisting, or pursuing on your end. Relaxing into her feminine was a hard habit to establish for Andrea. She inadvertently taught herself to close her heart a bit to be able to function without feeling out of balance when her patients were in pain. So. I took her through this process that I've created where I was able to help her rewire her emotional associations, strong emphasis on emotional, not intellectual associations, because that doesn't change anything. Emotional change associations changes the way you view life to opening more, and she did it. One of the first side effects of this was that she felt more confident to set boundaries and have more offers from quality men on the table. The third blind spot I helped her identify and overcome was the false notion that love needs to happen naturally if it's going to happen at all. This is a myth. So I showed her to separate that the feeling of love, which is supernatural, is radically different from the skill of love, which is not supernatural, required to enter a lifelong intimate partnership that lasts for decades. I was then able to teach her proven principles that I have developed throughout a decade of helping women that work in dating. And she overcame her sense of shame around asking for help in this area, understanding that the kind of relationship she wants is far more ambitious and far more conscious than any human being in her lineage had ever managed to create. So needless to say, the skills required to achieve it need to be higher and better as well. So here's what happened. I helped her to decide to end a relationship she was unsatisfied with and then taught her how to date consciously until she found a highly compatible match that showed up strong. With her new set of skills, she was able to let him lead instead of pursuing him and inspired him to actually take action and pursue her. So from the early stages right down to her engagement and then their wedding, and this is a couple of pictures from the wedding, uh, that's what she did, but it's, it doesn't stop here because she got clear as to what she wanted and also softened her approach and was very selective in who she allowed into her circle without closing her heart, she was able to attract an extraordinary man, the founder of a nonprofit charity that focuses on providing shelter, healthcare, and education for the children of Central America. So he invited her to join forces with him and she became one of the core doctors that helps those children in need. So she started out with a fulfilling career, went into find her ideal soulmate and then came full circle and found even more fulfillment in the way she was doing things. So here's the thing, I'm not just sharing this story for inspirational reasons. Here's how this might be specifically actionably relevant to you. First, this isn't the first time I've done something like this. One of the biggest blessings of my life every day is waking up and getting messages from women like Jeannie, who shared with me, I feel beyond loved. She found an amazing guy as a result of doing this work and is doing what she wants to be doing. She's feeling excited, she's feeling happy. Uh, women like Pammy, who shared with me at the end of our work and when she found her ideal soulmate, working with you has been, aside from saying yes to getting married, the single best decision I've made in my life. Women like Sophie, who went through a painful divorce and found herself again 
and found the guy that she wanted as a result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of herself and shared with me verbatim, I'm a completely different woman. <laughs> Thanking me for that. She did all the work, I just helped her guide her into what she had inside. Uh, women like Delia, who went through several unfulfilling relationships and then shared with me, this couldn't have happened without your coaching, and, and mentioned on the message she left for me a couple of weeks ago that she mentioned me in her vows, which makes me feel so grateful and so happy. Women like Nancy, who had gone through a uh, divorce and wasn't sure how she was going to develop into this high value, awesome woman that she, she was inside, and found an incredible man and shared with me. It's an amazing turning point in my life. That's her husband these days. Um, uh, maybe women like Roxanne, who told me I didn't even know that men like him existed, and that's her uh, on her third uh, year anniversary with him. Or touches my heart, especially when someone like Ashley, who suffered the devastating loss of her soulmate and husband on the war in Iraq, and was lost, felt lost inside, and felt like she was never gonna be able to find a soulmate quality love again, and after working with me, finding exactly what she wanted, you know, and saying, I wouldn't be here without your guidance. Feeling so, so blessed for this. Thank you for opening my heart. Um, women like Valerie, who said, uh, I feel fully alive and I got married, you know? So if you have a good feeling that you're seeking to find your ideal life partner, but have been unable to attract the right guy into your life, if you're smart and self-aware enough to know that it's not something wrong with you, but your approach might need some tweaking, if you want to find out if I can help you cut years or maybe even a decade of your process so you can get what you want much faster with a lot less unnecessary pain, underneath this video, there's a link to apply to speak with me. Click on that link, answer a few basic questions, and let me know a little bit about your situation. Because this work is very personal and I only have a certain number of spots in any given year to take in new clients, I personally speak with every qualified applicant to figure out if we're a great fit to work together. And it's not about me choosing them, but rather about a mutual decision to co-create this new result. Once you fill out this form, I'll personally read it. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out to you to confirm the time you selected and we will have a short video call. I'll ask you questions, you'll ask me questions, and if it feels right to both of us, I'll invite you to become a client. If we're not a fit, we'll amicably part ways, but you'll still have a greater awareness around what's preventing you from finding love. So I want to thank you for spending the time, investing the time today in this. I'm looking forward to speaking with you. If this resonates with your heart, all you have to do is click on the bottom below to apply or go to workwithburn.com. Either one of the two will actually get you the application. Uh, regardless of whether you decide to take me up on this uh, opportunity or not, I want to challenge you to commit to never settling for a partner who's not a resonant match to who you are. Thank you.